What's up, Doc? <laughs> We're going to go old school today. Oh, good. Old school, long lost friend studio inking video. We haven't done one of those in a while. No, and I'm going to be inking an old school monster, mm. the Looney Tunes version of Mr. Hyde. One of my favorite things uh, ever mm. is the Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. You know I love them. I know. We make a lot of monsters around here. We do. And I figured out a way to shoehorn our love of classic Looney Tunes into a monster inking video. Brilliant. But that's not all. No. No. Hyde's not the only Looney Tunes monster we'll see today. Mm. Because you've got a little surprise for us later. Don't build it up. What? No, I'm excited about this. <laughs> But that's a little later. So let's talk about Hyde. Okay. This is a very basic inking. There's some brushwork, some pen for fine details, mm -hmm. a wash to add tone, and I'll drop all of my tools and materials in the notes. Okay. Oh, but the thing about Mr. Hyde, the character, is that you yeah. may have memories of him appearing in two fantastic <laughs> but separate Looney Tunes cartoons. Yes. One, Hyde and Hare from 1955, where he runs up against Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And two, Hide and Go Tweet <laughs> from 1960, yeah. where, for the most part, Sylvester the Cat is being chased by a Tweety Bird Hide monster. But for a brief moment at the start, oh, yeah. by way of setup, Dr. Jekyll himself enters, drinks the formula, turns into Hide, and exits the cartoon. Right. Now, when I was a kid, I imagined that the Looney Tunes cartoons occupied a shared universe, mm -hmm. and I figured it was the same Dr. Jekyll in both cartoons. They look similar. Yeah. The Dr. Jekylls look similar. Yeah, similar, but not the same. Same with Hyde. Similar, but not the same. Right. He's got the long arms, mm -hmm. the bulging eyes, the <laughs> crazy hair. Uh, but I feel like, at this point, we have to come to terms with the idea that there may be two Dr. Jekylls mm. and two Mr. Uh. Hydes in the Looniverse. Right? Either that or we're looking at a multiverse situation. Exactly. And we know that's possible because Warner Brothers and DC Comics share a universe somehow. Right. And there's all kinds of multiverse stuff happening <laughs> in there. Anyway, the Hyde that I chose to work on is my preferred Hyde. Uh-huh. The one who had more screen time. The one from Hyde and Hair mm. with Bugs Bunny. It's been a while since I read the Robert Louis Stevenson novel, but mm -hmm. I think in the original... Strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hyde uses a walking mm. stick to bludgeon a victim. Yikes. At some point. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's brutal. <laughs> but the reason I point it out is because in that Looney Tunes cartoon, mm -hmm. this Hyde attacks Bugs Bunny with both an axe and a rifle. Wow. Yeah. They really ramped up the violence. Well, that's Looney Tunes. Yeah. I mean, nobody actually gets chopped up or shot. And nobody gets bludgeoned. No, no. But that doesn't mean that we won't be bludgeoning our viewers once again <laughs> with another episode of the show that makes you feel like you've been beaten repeatedly <laughs> with a stick. Ink, Ink it or stink, stink it. it. So in keeping with our Looney Tunes monster theme, Michelle, mm -hmm. you will be inking this drawing of Witch Hazel, another foil of Bugs Bunny's. Yeah. And since it's been a short while since we've done one of these, let's just remind everybody how Ink It or Stink It is played. Okay. First, you... Do not ink. I am not an inker. No, and you do not draw. Not if you beat me with a walking <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, here you are, using brushed ink, mm -hmm. uh, brush pens, fine liners. How do you feel about this one? I was nervous. That's new <laughs> and shocking. <laughs> now I know, but it's, it's a good happens. drawing, and I didn't want to ruin it. <sighs> Your hands were shaking while you were doing it, <laughs> yeah. shaking a bit. Uh, I wasn't even yelling at you <laughs> most of the time. No, it's true. My hands were shaking mm -hmm. from nerves. Yeah. And you see, I'm wearing two sweaters. You keep the studio at 50 degrees. What are you trying to say? I'm cheap? <laughs> Who bought you those sweaters? I bought those sweaters. Right over, okay, all right. May I have one? <laughs> <laughs> see, it's cold in here. I know, but look, even with the cold, mm -hmm. you did an ink wash to add tones to this, and I think you did a really nice job. Thanks. I had a few different ink mixes, lighter, darker. Mm -hmm. If I did it more often, maybe I'd be better at it. I'm but, sure. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not comfortable with the chaos. How long do I let it sit? Do I let it dry before adding more ink? Yeah, that's the do thing. Do I blend before it dries? Yeah. Where's my light source? Exactly. Why can't I feel my fingers? Right. <laughs> I think you did a nice job, regardless okay. of your numb fingers. You made some interesting choices. Mm. You used a masking fluid to protect Hazel's hands mm -hmm. when you colored in the rest of her dress. 
I think it did okay making a smooth blend on the dress. Oh, absolutely. I don't think I could have done that a year ago. I agree. And that means progress. Mm. But I'm not the one deciding this outcome. Right. <laughs> this time, for our judges panel, we posted your finished Witch Hazel in our Patreon. Mm -hmm. And the tiers who have access to polls were able to vote. We asked them, yeah. is it an ink or a stink? Let's see what they gave you. <laughs> I'm shocked. We have nice patrons. I'm not shocked at all. I agree with them. Oh. You're using different techniques. You're using masks. Oh. Your, your blending is really nice in some areas. Yeah, I agree. Thanks. I agree. Ink. Ink. Nice job. Thank you. All right. Well, this is not a competition. <laughs> but because you and I are sworn enemies of each other, <laughs> yeah. constantly at each other's throats. <laughs> we are. And you just chalked up another win. <laughs> I must at least try to do a decent job here so as to secure my position as boss of the studio. This again? No, not this again. This still. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I, I too, by the way, am going with a wash to finish this. Mm -hmm. You and I used the same washes, right? Yeah, I use the same mixes. A black wash and two lighter washes of gray. I think it takes practice. Of course. Getting used to how the wash moves across the paper, how quickly it dries, how much to put on the brush. Absolutely. And I know you do a lot of this with no practice at all. Mm -hmm. I still think, though, that what have you done? About eight of these? Uh, something like so that. So far? Yeah. I think you still improve with each one. Oh, good. I, and I hope I improve with each one I do. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. Maybe you and I should... Like, have practice inking <laughs> sessions every once in a while just to sharpen our skills. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'm not an inker, though, so I'm literally only doing this for fun. Well, here's a secret. Mm -hmm. So am I. <laughs> this is all for fun, and I had fun. So let's see how this turned out. I think what I was trying to do with that spattery wash in the background mm -hmm. was evoke some sort of sense of chaos and madness. I think it works. That's the character, you know, and, mm -hmm. I, and I tried to use the areas of high contrast to draw your eye where I want it to go. His face, the axe head, mm -hmm. you know, similar to the way your witch Hazel's hat and hair frame her face. I don't know if I planned that. Well, I mean, it works either way. If, if somebody asks, just tell them you planned it. Okay. <laughs> you put mine up in the final shot? Why not? You earned it. Aww. Ink, right? Ink. Yeah, I think you, you did a good job. Aww. And if anyone wants to see some of the other ink or stinkets that you took part in, mm. we've got a playlist dedicated to them. Yeah. You know, I put our names up in this last image so people would know who inked which monster. Mm -hmm. But now it just seems like I'm telling people that this is what we look like. <laughs> well, it's not far off. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. I have a larger axe, but this is pretty close. <laughs> yes.